They're trying to convince me I'm insane. They were trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah, like I'm sitting around, you know, I was stressed out, but the people that were telling me I was insane, I believe. What if I told you that behind the scenes of Wendy Williams' mysterious sickness, there lies a tangled web of manipulation, power, and control? So, word on the street is that Dave Chappelle might be stepping in to support Wendy Williams. Rumor has it he's trying to warn her about some serious trouble brewing in the industry. Hollywood's a wild place, right? Full of fame, fortune, and strange illnesses cropping up among big names. Wendy's no stranger to controversy, always fearless on TV. But lately, things seem off. Reports say she's facing financial woes and being labeled as crazy, a pattern we've seen before in Hollywood, stars rising then suddenly crashing down. Just ask Dave Chappelle or Cat Williams. They've been through it. Dave even turned down a massive $50 million offer from Comedy Central and left for Africa. A harsh reality sometimes. Those closest to us are the ones causing the most damage. Dave's been there, seen it, and now he is definitely speaking up. So, Dave Chappelle's been making some waves recently, especially with his recent interview, which he didn't hold back. He talked about turning down a huge deal from Comedy Central and heading off to Africa, all because he knew big money comes with big strings attached, but Oprah wasn't letting him off easy. Saying that you had become uh, increasingly paranoid. Would you say you were paranoid? Sure. First of all, what is a black man without his paranoia intact? <laughs> Did you go to a psychiatric hospital? In South Africa? Yeah. Who? Who? She kept pushing, asking if he was paranoid or went to a psychiatric hospital in South Africa. Dave being day didn't back down. He spoke up about people around him pushing meds, trying to control him. And he's not alone in this. Kanye West has been vocal too, calling out the industry's control over celebrities. They control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. Not you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Right. He even mentioned his late mother's sacrifice and insinuated similar things about Michael Jordan's father. It's a wild ride behind the scenes, with stars like Mariah Carey and Laurence Olivier suddenly facing scrutiny when they're on the brink of big career moves. But Dave and Kanye, they're not playing that game. They're speaking truth to power, no matter the consequences. So there's a lot going on with Wendy Williams lately. Reports say she's facing some serious health issues like aphasia and a frontomorphal dementia. Her team made the tough call to share this news with the world, shedding light on these conditions and raising awareness in her documentary. You can see moments where she's having trouble communicating, like with Black China. It's heartbreaking to witness Wendy's journey has been full of ups and downs, from her fainting incident on her show in 2017 to her ongoing personal struggles. Wendy Williams' journey has been a roller coaster of health struggles and personal challenges, from battling Graves' disease for nearly two decades to dealing with fractures, vertigo, and even lymphedema. She's been through a lot, and let's not forget about her public divorce in 2019, which was a tough blow. Now she's facing aphasia and frontotomorphal dementia conditions that affect her language skills and behavior. It's tough to watch someone like Wendy, known for her sharp wit, struggle, and communication. In addition to the complexity, there are concerns about financial and legal situations. With her family unable to connect with her directly and a court-appointed guardian making decisions for her, it's a murky situation. Let's hope Wendy gets the support and care she needs during this challenging time. In January 2022, things took a serious turn for Wendy Williams when Wells Fargo got a New York court involved, putting her under temporary financial guardianship. They were concerned about potential financial exploitation due to her cognitive issues. But here's the twist, Wells Fargo claimed they did everything right and any claims against them were dismissed. When the Guardian stepped in, Wendy's family was left in the dark. Court papers got sealed tight, leaving everyone wondering what went down behind closed doors. Fast forward to May 2022, Wendy made headlines for passing out drunk in a Louis Vuitton store. She checked into a wellness facility but struggled with her manager and jeweler expressing concerns about her well-being. The documentary crew tried to get answers from Wendy's guardian, but they hit a brick wall. Wendy's family fights tooth and nail for a change, insisting it's not about her money. Meanwhile, Wendy's son Kevin Hunter Jr. sets the record straight, stating he's never taken any money without Wendy's consent. It's a tangled web of legal drama, leaving hearts broken to see Wendy caught in the middle. What's your take on all this? Please let us know in the comments and stay tuned for more updates.